Hello, it is Sunday, October 29th, 2023. I'm Chris Remond. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Sunday crossword today, which means we're going to be solving a large grid with a theme and a title. Uh, fabrications today. So this um, fabricated edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Aaron Spiller, the Lake House Bros, Jake Rodkin, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are, of course, sustaining this channel, bringing us this series. Very grateful to them and to all of the patrons for that. It does mean a lot to me. Thank you to them. Thanks to you if you're one of them. If you'd like to become one of those folks, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field. And there you can find all of the bonus videos available to patrons, such as just over the last two days, the latest mini puzzle pseudo speed solve with my most disastrous mini puzzle solve of all time. And um, also the uh, latest Bosworth's Fall Themeless League uh, puzzle, which was not, uh, which was an improvement, I think, over probably the previous week. So that was at least a nice counterpoint to the mini puzzle. Anyway, uh, enjoy those if you're a patron. Thanks if you are. And uh, there's also, in, a, in the description field, a link to the Daily Solve Discord chat server. It's a nice, friendly chat community where you can uh, spend some time and chat with others who watch these videos, but also chat about other videos, other crosswords, and so on. Uh, sorry, not other videos, but other, well, I guess other videos if you really want to. But what I meant was other crosswords and other puzzles. And uh, also do subscribe to the channel, like the videos. Those are all big uh, helps if you can spare a moment to do those things. So thank you if you have. All right, after that stumbling introduction, let's get on to fabric fabrications. Fabrications. I'm slightly nervous about this theme because I'm worried it's going to be <laughs> puns dealing with types of fabric. And I that is an area of knowledge I, you know, I sort of I know a few of them, and so sometimes I can I can get them cold in a puzzle, but there are certainly many, many different fabrics, and I'm not confident in my ability to uh to remember anywhere close to to all of the ones I suspect will be referenced in today's puzzle, but let's find out. This is a construction by Alina Abidi. This is, I believe, her third crossword for the New York Times. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. It's a large Sunday grid, and let's start solving and see how we do. Okay, Outcast or Black Star? Uh, a rap duo? Now, don't forget this is an or clue, cause, um, so it means we are not going to pluralize this. It's only one of these two, one of these two groups. Let's see if that if that works. Love, Rain, or Me, that's a song by The Who, so there we go. Um, this is looking okay. Visits as a restroom. I think uses, if you say I'm using the restroom, you, you know, you're visiting it. So the reason it says visits as a restroom is because uses doesn't, you wouldn't say I'm using the kitchen. I mean, I guess you could say that, but it doesn't mean quite the same thing as, as I'm using the restroom or I have to use the restroom. If you said I have to use the restroom, it means I have to go there and, and then obviously use the things in it, I suppose. Whereas you wouldn't say that about other rooms. So that's why that's being uh, specified there. Okay. Broken down. This could mean either something is out of order. It's not functional, or I guess it could mean you break down in tears. Uh, probably the former. Ornate garden features. And skirt style. An A-line skirt, maybe? Not sure. Grand. Um, grand. Regal, maybe? I'm not certain about this, but I'm going to put it in and let's see. Character who lives on the tippy-top floor of the Plaza Hotel. Right, I do know this. Remember these books from when I was very young. Eloise is a girl who lives in the uh, in the Plaza Hotel in New York City. And there are illustrated books featuring her. So skirt style probably is a line. And then holiday building material, gabardine. Oh, that's interesting because right underneath it, there's another gabardine. I'm, I'm guessing that's a fabric. Holiday building material, ginger, because you could make a gingerbread house. And then here we have stay all night finishing a book, maybe. A, oh, oh, it's a, it's an anagram. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, that's impressive. So we're going to have anagrams of, oh, that's easier than I thought because I don't need to know 
<laughs> the fabric types, they're given in the clue. Okay, well, I'm that it's fortunate for me, I suppose. Okay, right. Okay, so so we'll have another one of those in a moment, but let's get back to this. Right, okay, so holiday building material gingerbread is an anagram of gabardine. Right, good, okay. So ornate garden features could be ponds, maybe. I suppose what this means is a feature of an ornate garden rather than a garden feature that is itself ornate. I, I suspect that's what that means here. Broken down. Not sure. And chocolate brand with a mountain logo. Oh, Andes. There's, a, there's Andes mints. Those are, um, uh, it's a brand. And the, the mountain, it's referencing the Andes mountain range. So broken down. Oh, no, no, no. It's digested. Oh, right. Okay. It's a meaning that I didn't really have. Uh, it's broken down as in broken down in, you know, your digestive system. Right. As in sort of degraded or, deca or decayed or, or dissolved. So without is less, right? Okay, you could say five less three, five without three, I guess you could say. Uh, elixir could be a tonic, so something that, uh, you know, something medicinal or something you you drink to re reinvigorate you. Uh, toy with verbal commands. Um, not sure. Formula One event, a race of some sort. A car, is it a car as simple as a car race, maybe? It's the most straightforward version of that that comes to mind for me, shift neighbor. Okay, well, I think this is referring to a, a computer keyboard. The neighbor of the shift key is the control key, which is labeled CTRL. A young fellow could be a lad. And what integrals calculate? So this is a mathematical clue, and the answer would be the area. You calculate the area with an integral of some sort of, uh, you know, surface. Okay, true. If something's true, it's real, presumably. And soul protector. So here we have a question mark. Uh, soul, obviously, ordinarily, if you read the phrase soul protector, you'd think the only protector. But here it probably refers to either a fish or to the sole of a shoe. A tread, as in the tread on the bottom of a shoe. There we go. Okay, like some language exams, oral exams, spoken. And toy with verbal commands, right. I just looked at this. I didn't have any ideas. I still don't. Toy with verbal commands. So some sort of robotic thing? I don't know, sorry. Uh, lighter alternative to a laptop, an iPad maybe? So what is this? Oh, bop it? Does that have verbal command? I don't really know what this is. I mean, I think I've, I remember there being television ads where they said sort of bop it bap it. I don't remember what they said. It was something where they would repeat bop it in an alliterative way. I don't actually know what it is. I don't remember what it is or why they would have verbal commands, but I bet that must be the answer. I don't know. We'll see. Ready for battle to say if you're in armor, maybe in a, like a medieval knight, possibly, or I guess modern body armor. Um, Washington post sateen. Oh, right. Oh, interesting. Oh, I just, this makes me think maybe I didn't interpret the theme properly because this doesn't have the number. Oh, maybe it's not an anagram. Maybe it's a word bank. I didn't really think about this. No, it must be because there are two G's in gingerbread and only one in gabardine. Sorry about that. So there's another, there's a thing, a mechanic used in, in some crosswords very rarely. Um, and I, I've only encountered it maybe once or twice, I think, called a, a letter bank, actually, I think it's called, which is when, rather than an anagram, which is when you rearrange all the letters in a word to make another word or phrase, in this case, you can use as many of each instance of the letter in that word as you like. Um, and it does use all of them. Yes, yeah, so gingerbread does use all of the letters from Gabardine, but it uses some twice, such as G. All right, so that makes sense. So we're going to be spelling a word for Washington Post. And notice the P is not capitalized, so it's not Washington Post, the newspaper. Um, but we're going to be using only the letters from Satine. Washington Post, so a senator, a, uh, a Senate seat. Yeah, there we go. So a post in the sense of, you know, a, a, a job, an occupation. Um, you, you could apply for a post, you could apply for a job. But in this case, it would be an elected position, a Senate seat. Okay, there we go. 
uh, unrepeated instances, one-offs, I suppose. James of the Blacklist. I've never seen this, but I think I've probably seen ads for it or something. James Spader. There we go. Gave in. If you gave in, you sacrificed? Don't think that's right. Anyway, even if it would have fit, it doesn't seem as close as I'd like. En energy sanctions me measure. Uh, some sort of ban or an embargo or something. I'm not sure. Altman, who's the CEO of OpenAI. Well, in three letters starting with S, the most likely name would probably be Sam. I mean, there are a number of less obvious names that could fit as well. But I think I have heard Sam Altman in the probably in the news recently or something, which would make sense given, you know, AI is a very recent, well, I mean, current version of a current sort of incarnation of AI is a fairly recent news phenomenon. The Diamondbacks and scoreboards, oh, right, I was going to put Sam in there, lead into wife or life. Mid, midwife is a, is a post, actually, speaking of posts, and midlife is an adjective or adverb, I suppose. Uh, energy sanctions measure. Price something, a price cap, an energy price cap. There we go. There's one of those in the UK at the moment. Uh, the Diamondbacks on scoreboards, Arizona Diamondbacks, that actually sounds familiar, gave in, said okay, or said yes, or said, what about this? Having similar qualities, right, or what four pairs of answers in this puzzle are. Right, so these will be the pairs of answers that are using these letter banks. So having similar qualities. Can't quite see what it is. One-offs. I mean, this could be something else. Maybe I should delete this for now. Fair that's filled and folded. Filled and folded. Um, an omelet. An omelet is, is often folded over. There we go. Okay, that does work with one-offs. Pay attention. Looky, that's a, I don't like that for the tone of pay attention. Carbon levy, for instance. Uh, this this one could an eco tax maybe right okay. So we have an eco tax and a price cap on energy. Filipino spring roll. Um, hopefully, I recognize this when there are more crosses. I, don't, I can't think off the top of my head. Pay attention. So if this were, oh. No, never mind. Oh, you know, that, that, that F does work because focus. Pay attention, focus. So one-offs. Okay, well, that was correct after all. Uh, Filipino spring roll. Oh, I'm sure this is going to be very familiar. It's very annoying at the moment. Here we have get seriously cocked. <laughs> get seriously cocked. Like cocked on the head? Or does this have some slang meaning? I don't know. Oh, no, it is, it is get cocked on the head because see stars. So in the sense of... Um, you know, as often represented in cartoons, for instance, you get hit on the head and then stars are shown kind of orbiting around your head. Okay, location for a tragus piercing. Um, I mean, obviously, the, the most common piercing location would be the ear, but I assume that it isn't that just because that would otherwise, why would you need to specify something? The eye? Kind of moss, peat moss, maybe it is the ear. Galette fruit, a pear, a pear galette, maybe. It's a, you know, it's sort of uh, sweet uh, baked good. In itself, okay, that, yeah, it was ear. Um, anyway, in itself is per se, so uh, used to indicate uh, that something is the case intrinsically rather than with some additional, I don't know, conditional case. Lancaster of Old Hollywood. Burt Lancaster is a is an actor associated with Old Hollywood. And one uh, great Burt Lancaster performance, by the way, in um, uh, Sweet Smell of Success, which is just an extraordinary film. Uh, Make some stitches. Pearls, I think. Per pearl is a is a kind of stitch. I've certainly encountered that before. Um, slangy term of endearment is what? Slangy term of endearment. 
Oh, I can't, I can't think offhand. That's a shame. You blank. You rang, maybe? I'm not certain that's correct, but let's just try it and see. Siddhartha author. That's written by Herman Hess. I remember reading this when I was probably too young to really understand it. Uh, and then I read it much later as an adult. Uh, components of a mind map. Uh, I don't know. Super big fans. Super big fans. I assume what this means is literally a very large fan, like a windmill or something. Um, I know a windmill isn't actually a fan, uh, but but um, I'm just trying to think what this could mean that isn't a big fan. Maybe, no, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I was just going to say, I assume it's misdirection and it doesn't mean a fan of someone's work, but maybe it does because there is a word for that, which is stands from the Eminem song of the same name. Uh, blank conjecture, one of math's millennium prize problems. Um, I don't know. I would like to think I'd recognize this when I see it, but I suspect I might not. Uh, so I don't, yeah, I don't know. We haven't looked at these acrosses yet, I don't think. Striped minnow used in drug development. I don't know. A, a tetra fish, maybe? That's a bit of a random stab, but let's see if, if, if I can justify it. Famed New York City deli. Oh, uh... Oh, I'm annoyed that I don't can't think of that right offhand. What about this? Weed gummy, e.g. an edible. There we go. Bugaboos. Uh, I don't know. Something's a bugaboo. It's a kind of, it bothers you. It's a pet peeve. It's a, I just can't think. Dungeons and Dragons and others for shorter RPGs, role-playing games. Okay, so I think my Tetrafish guess might have actually been correct because that E and that R are both certainly correct. So did a great job in Gen Z lingo. Oh no, I don't know. Uh, I'm a millennial. I don't, uh, I don't know all the Gen Z lingo. Did a great job. Um, I, oh, I, I don't know. I wonder if I'll recognize it when I see it. I may not. Pride is to lions as business. Oh, that's interesting. So pride is a group of lions, a collective term for well, it's not so much collective term for lines. It's a, it's a sort of social unit. Uh, and then a business of, of what? That's very interesting. I'm very curious to see what that is. Components of a mind map. Oh, ideas? I don't really think I know what this is in the context of this clue. Is this a sort of brainstorming? It must be a sort of brainstorming tool or something. I don't, you know. Uh, blank conjecture? I don't know. Hedge, maybe. Um, hinge conjecture? got comfortable with. Oh, no, no. Adapted to. I should have looked at this immediately. So if you got comfortable with something, you adapted to it. So this could be the Hodge conjecture. So it could be just someone's name. Um, and then the D would work in Gabardine. Let's just try it and see. Stay up all night finishing a book, maybe. Oh, for some reason, I don't know why. When I read this clue previously, I, I just read it as meaning finishing writing a manuscript, which... I don't know why that would have been the first thing that came to mind. I think what it actually means is to to binge read, I suppose, to you know read all the way through a book overnight, um, which is a much more obvious interpretation. If you say, I was up all night finishing a book, I think most people would understand you meant reading it, not writing it. But there we go. Okay, famed New York City deli. Oh, Tabers. Slangy term of endearment. Babes. T uh, tabars. I, I actually, I actually can't. I know I've seen this deli before, but I can't. I actually don't know how it's properly pronounced. Uh, tabers, tabars. Anyway, babes is a slang term of endearment. Uh, and then bugaboos are. Oh, well, maybe maybe I do have something wrong. Tains is that adopted to tones bugaboos. What was the Gen Z thing? Eight. You did a great job. You ate. Okay, I don't know that. That's, that's absolutely not recognized by me. Um, but there we go. Okay, bugaboos. I'm trying to... If you got comfortable with something, you... No, adopted to doesn't make any sense. You don't adopt to something. You adapt to it. Tains. Is this right? Tabars. 
Babars. Striped minnow. No, Zabars? Zabars, that I do actually recognize. Okay, I must have I must have been thinking I must have just sort of changed it in my mind when I saw the crosses from Zabars to Tabar. So then what would this be? Well, Zetrafish is obviously wrong. Oh, a zebra zebra fish. Okay. It felt like I got it right. I yeah, that was just wrong. Okay. Well, there we go. So okay, Zabars, which I absolutely do in much more confidently recognized as a New York City deli. Zebrafish is the striped minnow used in drug development. Fair enough. I shouldn't have gotten so presumptuous with tetrafish once it seemed like it was sort of working. I suppose I lucked out that I got alternating clues and then didn't feel confident enough about the others. Anyway, bugaboos are banes. It's my bane. It's a sort of plagues me. Okay, so pride is to lions as a business. Oh, to a business of ferrets. Oh, that's funny. That's a new one to me. Um, maybe I've encountered it before. I don't know. Capture target, a bot. I guess it captures are those things, little um, increasingly complex questions you have to answer to visit a website to prevent a bot. Weapon in a backyard water fight, a hose, I suppose. Uh, what vampires don't turn into in Twilight. I don't know. I've never actually seen one of these all the way through. Let's see, or, or, or read them, I guess. Um... What do they not turn into? What do they ordinarily turn into that they don't hear? Oh, bats, I guess. Right. I was thinking, I was thinking sort of turning into dust when the when sun shines on them or something, but no, it just means turn into generally. I guess they don't turn into bats in Twilight. All right. So thumbs up, sateen. Ascent. There we go. Ascent would be that you give something the thumbs up, you give it your ascent. All right. And, and that obviously, again, uses the letters from Satine. Understand someone else's side. To empathize? Away. Not in, not at home, not try out to test something. Calvin and Hobbes' bully is Mo. Makes a decision. You opt to do something. It's found next to Mercurio on the periodic table, right? Okay, so this is presumably Mercury. So uh, aura for gold, perhaps? I actually don't know if gold is found next to Mercury. I'm just guessing because it's three letters with an O in, I'm guessing, Spanish. Brooklyn Art School. Oh, this I don't know. Do I? I don't know. I don't know if I do. Away. I guess, or uh, let's see, let's having similar qualities or what four pairs of answers in this puzzle are. This could be front. I don't know. Not confident about that. Don't have any other ideas. Site with a culturally Jewish option. Oh, this is probably, I've, I've certainly at least heard of this. J, J date is a, a dating site for, uh, for Jewish people. So you could be culturally rather than, um, religiously Jewish. All right, a red one is sweeter than a green one. A red, uh, don't know, soaps, e.g. dramas, as in television dramas, soap operas maybe? Fends off, if you ward someone off, you fend them off. So goodbyes are adieus, I think would, that works in the, in the proper number of letters. My first thought was adios, but there's no way to pluralize that. And this needs to be, well, I mean, yeah, there's no way to sensibly pluralize that in English in this many letters. Anyway, uh, goodbyes, right. Mongolian word in an honorary title. Interesting. What is this? I'm curious. A red one is sweeter than a green one. Right. Still not sure about that. As it blank, Harry Styles hit. I don't actually know Harry Styles' work, but this looks like it's probably as it was. I mean, that seems very likely with that W. Um, what have we not seen yet? French direct, uh, film director Claire. Oh, Claire. Um, I mean, I've seen some of her films. Claire, uh, Claire Denis. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, common Father's Day gift. A oh, a tie, I suppose, is stereotypically associated with gifts for a father. So having similar qualities. Oh, cut from the same cloth. Oh, that's that's very good. That's very, very good. 
I like that a lot as a revealer for this for this puzzle. So these pairs of answers, these two are both, you could say, cut from gabardine. That's very clever. And I like I like that as an idea because, you know, you, I think it sort of makes sense that these are letter banks rather than anagrams because cloth, you know, have a big roll of cloth and you sort of cut from it as much as you as you like, you know, so you're, you're we're, we're kind of using maybe a bit more of the, the role of gabardine and getting maybe an extra G there, for instance. That's very good. Okay, rapper who popularized auto-tune, O-T-Pain, uh, famously, who also um, has a shockingly uh, beautiful un-auto-tuned voice, which I was completely amazed by when I first when I first heard sort of raw, un-auto-tuned. Okay, Mongolian word in an honorary title, a singing voice, I mean. Um, yeah, I still I still can't think what that is offhand. I'm sure it'll seem I'm sure it'll seem familiar when I see it, but just just frustrating that I can't think. Oh, 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 uh, uh, lumpia, uh, lumpia, Filipino spring roll. I, yes, this I do know, and have had and enjoyed. So there we go. That's the Filipino spring roll is lumpia. Um, I used to have a friend who would make homemade lumpia on a ski trip, which was uh, every year, which was very nice. Uh, clog in a bathroom. Uh, sorry, clog in a bathtub drain. Maybe Hair, hairs. I guess. And towel word his. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess some people have towels with his and her uh, embroidered on them. Bear's home would be a den. Boy, I'm still. Oh, Dale. Dale, of course, is in the Dalai Lama. There we go. Okay. Well, that's that's an that's a sort of honorary title. So there we go. Oh, is it jalapeno? Why didn't I think of that? A red one is sweeter than a green one. A red jalapeno is sweeter than a green jalapeno. Okay. There we go. So Hawkins, who wrote The Girl on the Train, 2015. Paula, I suppose. Um, let's see if that works. How everything appears in hindsight, clearer. So metaphorically in hindsight, things appear, do appear to be more clear. Monkeys around, if someone monkeys around, uh, he or she messes around. And a type of quasi-particle. Oh, that's interesting. A blaston or something? Brooklyn Art School. Oh, I don't know. Brat? I'm not sure what this is. Oh, actually, maybe that is the answer because away could be not there. He's not there. He's away, and then a type of quasi particle. I do think I, I do think a blaston is a type of of particle of, of you know sort of odd theoretical thing. Floors. Uh, oh no, it's not. It's not. I was wrong, completely wrong about that. But this is amazes. If you floor somebody, you amaze them. Okay, so I wasn't confident enough to put that in the grid, and it's good I didn't because it didn't throw me off this as a result. So a mother hen, there we go. And hip hop is dead, musical artist must be uh, Nas, and then part of an age old plan for short. Oh, 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 sorry, did I say age old? Part of an old age plan for short is an IRA, so a retirement, a sort of personal retirement plan, IRA for individual retirement account, which is a US financial instrument. There we go. Okay, it must be exhausting, always rooting for the blank Taylor Swift lyric. I do not know. Always rooting for the... I don't know. Okay. Um, severe punishment is could be a ban, maybe. Would be a form of severe punishment. Dark plane on the moon's surface. A mare, these are the the so-called sort of seas of the moon, um, which are not actually bodies of water, but uh, sort of what they looked like to early astronomers, I think. Baguette topping, sorry, baguette topper is not sure. What are we looking for here? Don't really know. Hmm. Burr for butter or, or it doesn't fit, obviously, not enough letters, but yeah, I'm not sure what we're looking for there. Okay. Where Six Flags, Six Flags theme park originated must have been in Texas. I didn't know that, but there we go. Towel word. Oh, right. So we had his here and hers, and they're connected by hairs, which I suppose could end up on the towels um, or in the bathtub drain. Precursor to the main act, neoprene. That looks like opener to me. There we go. Okay. And here, this is it's interesting that we have fewer letters in opener than we do in neoprene, but we're still 
only we're still using all the letters from neoprene because neoprene itself has several repeated letters. Okay. Well, at least repeated N and E. Nevada neighbor could be California. Uh, that's the most obvious one to me, but let's see. Visual art style. So deco, art deco is a famous artistic style and art, architectural movement and so on. Gave in would be, oh, said uncle. So in a fight, you say uncle, you give in. There we go. And here we have ecce. Yes. Latin behold ecce. There we go. Okay. So I think we've looked at all the crosses there. Let's keep going. Liable to make mistakes, neoprene, error prone. There we go. I find these easier than um, anagrams. Uh, it must be exhausting always reading for the... I still can't infer what this is. I keep thinking maybe I'll be able to, but then I, I don't. Blank we all. Aren't we all? Looks reasonable to me. Baguette topper. What am I missing here? I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm not... Yeah, I guess what I mean is I'm not even sure what category of thing I'm looking for. I mean, is it a food? I'm not sure. Oh, it must be exhausting always rooting for the anti-hero, maybe? That, seems, that feels plausible, starting with A-N-T. Pop blank, British show that launched Simon Cowell's TV career. Pop icon? No, pop, I, pop idol, pop idol, there we go. Uh, because here we have Painter Rivera, which is Diego Rivera. And then WandaVision actress Elizabeth, Elizabeth Olsen is an, is an, act, is an actor, but let's see, is her name spelled E-N or O-N? I'm not sure. It's more often O-N, but I, it is sometimes E-N. Got close to with on. Oh, no, 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 verged on. It is an E because verged on. There we go. Okay. Uh, blank team English, sorry, blank United English soccer team Leeds United is an English soccer team. So there we go. A football club and reacts to a grand gesture. Maybe could be swoons with, you know, I don't know, romantic delight or something to masticate, <laughs> to chew on things. Um, I've always found that an incredibly sort of aggressive word to mean chew country. That's more than 2,600 miles long would be Chile. There we go. This looks like a Linden cheese, Philadelphia specialty. Kashmir. So not a cheese steak, a Philly cheese steak. Oh, but cream cheese. There we go. Because Philadelphia, um, and there's a there's a brand, Philadelphia, that markets cream cheese. So I, I suppose cream cheese must be historically associated with that city and even beyond that. Uh, Rainbow Creator. Uh, I'm not sure. Kind of Comb. And recipe verb, stir, I guess, would be that. Oh, a prism, right? Because a prism will split light into the kind of, you know, components of the visible spectrum. So it creates a rainbow effectively, which is, I guess is what's going on through the the, the mist in the air uh, that creates a rainbow. Kind of comb. Um, I, still, I, can't, I still can't see it. Something that may be cast. Cast, I'm not sure about that. 12-month rentals, often. Apartments? It's a frequent term of the lease. So something that may be cast. Cast a, a spear? You throw a spear, maybe? I'm not sure that's right, but it might be. It's plausible. Ship that may have inspired Homer's Odyssey. Uh, the Argo. I would think. And then Jamaican Tangelo. Yeah, I don't know. It's a fruit, but I don't I don't know. That's interesting. Part of a Yahtzee set. A cup. I think Yahtzee is a dice rolling game and you might roll the dice from a cup. Big Ask. I feel that's something I have something not working here. That doesn't is, is this not Argo? Ship that may have inspired Homer's Odyssey. I mean, surely it is. Surely it's the Argo. Maybe this isn't Spear. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Or they're all right, and I just don't know what this, what I need to do. Oh, Ugly Fruit? Oh, Rat Tail. Is that a comb? I don't quite know what that means. Big Ask. Something that may be cast. Cast a spell. Oh, right. So... 
pole. Oh, oh, right. Okay, that's a very clever clue. So, uh, yeah, that's good. So a poll that you conduct is asking many people the same question or set of questions. So it's a big ask in that sense. Very clever. Never seen that one before. Uh, okay, extrema would be the ends. So extrema, plural of, of extremes. So the extremes of something are its ends. Object of wishful thinking. A genie would be literally the sort of object, the kind of, you know, target in a way of your wishful thinking. Oh, that's a very clever clue as well. Baguette top. Oh, brie. It was a cheese. I was thinking, could it be cheese? But then I was thinking, well, the French word for cheese is fromage. It's too long. But no, I should have been thinking of kinds of cheese. You might put brie on a baguette in a sandwich thing. Okay. Or just on top of it in a, in a sliced baguette. Uh, easily shockable sort. A prude, maybe, could be easily, easily shocked. Uh, there we go. And then Mr. Whipple of old commercials. E.g. I don't know this. Uh, I don't know. Is that an ice cream brand or something? I can't quite, it's not quite certain what that is. Trick-taking card game. Oh, Euchre, which I've never played, but I, I, you know, I've seen the name. Sort of one of those slightly quaint card games like Whist that I sort of know of, but have never personally played. Voting groups, blo uh, voting blocks, blocks of voters. Still don't know about the Mr. Whipple. Who said opinion is the medium between knowledge and ignorance? That's interesting. Is it Plato? Let's see. Grabbing distance, cashmere, arms reach. Yeah, that works. Great. Okay, so what is this? Oh, grocer. Oh, is, is that a grocery store, Mr. Whipple? Grocer. That must be the answer. Grin with a glow. A to, oh, to beam is to kind of smile in a way that glows. Carnival performer. Um, well, if not for Plato, I would have thought maybe Lion Tamer. I suppose it still could be if I have that wrong. Old car initials. REO. Um... Manufacturer, famously, of the REO Speedwagon, the uh, namesake of the band of the same name. Carnival performer. Oh, a fire eater. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And then thumbs through. You could leaf through a stack of paper, maybe, thumb through it. Some hotel lobbies are atria. They're so plural of atrium. Car model whose name comes from the Japanese word for crown. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Must be the Camry. I did. I you know, it was. It's new to me. Understood. Say no more. You could say. And TV ratings name. Oh, Nielsen is the company that that uh, provides data about how many people watch various television programs in North America. I believe. List uh, maybe maybe elsewhere in the world. I don't know. List Ender is at all. Uh, so if you if you have a partial list and then you end with at all to indicate you know and, and the rest. Like most running shoes are laced up, of course, and then to take care of something is to tend it. And then finally, follower of sit or stand, sit-ins or stand-ins are both phrases. So, oh no, is that not the, that's, what's gone, have I not, oh no, I didn't put, there's a, as an extra cell here. Right, so I never went back to this. Brooklyn Art School, is it Pratt type of quasi-particle, plasmon? I mean, that sounds right. I don't know if it is, but let's see. It was. That was funny. I was completely baffled. And the grid was so large that I actually didn't quite, it took me several moments to identify this one here, or several seconds, I should say. Um, uh, but there we go. That was the Sunday puzzle. So not a complete walk in the park, not as difficult as yesterday's puzzle, I would certainly say, although it, you wouldn't expect it to be, would you? I would say maybe a bit trickier than the average Sunday. I don't know. It's, it's always hard to say. Let me know how you how you managed with this one relative to other Sunday puzzles. It's hard for me. To, I've, I've lost, <laughs> I've, I've realized it's so difficult for me to tell because before I was doing these videos, I could look at my solving time and get a pretty good sense of, of how I did on a particular puzzle relative to other uh, puzzles of the same day. It doesn't really work anymore because the, the speaking through and even just reading clues 
changes the time so much and not even in linear ways. It's not even necessarily the case that you can compare two times of my video solves and then come up with a kind of, uh, this was, tw this took, would have taken me 20% longer because it was 20% uh, more time. It doesn't even seem to work that way. Some things just end up generating more explanation than others, sort of independent of difficulty. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I've completely lost my instinct around <laughs> or what makes for a hard, a harder or easier New York Times puzzle anymore, except for yesterday's I did think was, was more difficult. Anyway, that's why I'm always curious to hear your thoughts in the comments or the uh, Discord server. Anyway, there we go. Let's look at a, look, look over our fabrications theme. We had two uh, two answers fashioned of gabardine, uh, gingerbread, and binge read. We had two from sateen, senate seat, and ascent. We had uh, two from neoprene, opener, and error prone. And two from grabbing this, uh, sorry, two from cashmere, I should say, arms reach and cream cheese. And all of these were cut from the same cloth, which I really enjoy. And um, of course, it sort of feels like we had four theme answers, but in fact, we had eight plus a revealer because each one was a pair. So well done to Alina Abidi. I really enjoyed that. Hope you did as well. And uh, did give me some resistance here and there. And in fact, yeah, I suppose with this one, I basically had to guess at the end. I mean, it was an inf it was a relatively confident guess because plasmon sounded more correct than anything else I could think putting in there. But um, but yeah, there were some there were some tough crosses in here. Anyway, there we have it. That was the Sunday grid. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow, of course, for the Monday crossword, a much smaller, much gentler themed puzzle. So join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Uh -huh.